Hey, this is Kyle McMurray from Grow Now Marketing. In about two minutes from right now, you're going to realize why this could be the key to getting better ads that actually make more sales on social media platforms like Facebook. But first, if you don't know me, my name is Kyle McMurray and I'm the founder of Grow Now Marketing, where we are, we actually have clients that come to us, especially lately. They come to us that are looking for ways to reach their customers. A lot, of, a lot of businesses here in New York are shut down, and so people have only one way to reach customers, and that's online. But here's the problem. If you're trying to use traditional social media, I don't know if you know this, but the average rate that people have reached of your post, if you put a post on your Facebook page and you try to reach people, the average reach for a page is between 4 and 6%. So that means if you have 100 fans uh, for your page, only four or six people will see your message, right? Unless it's super engaging. And the super engaging posts tend not to be the ones that are most shared. Uh, that, I mean, they do be most shared, but the, the ones that you want, the ones that are talking about promoting your business, Facebook would like you to advertise those. So they actually cut that reach even further, and we've seen it about to be 2 to 3% if you're doing a straight promotional post. So, so what do you do? What can you do? And this is what our clients come to us and ask because they're at their end's, at, at their end's limit, right? They're, they're worried. They're having to lay off people. They're stuck, and they can't get their business open right now. So here's what we tell them. We tell them, learn to advertise, right? Now we can't do this for everyone because we can only take on so many clients, but what we can do in this short little few minutes here is to get you started on three critical elements that will supercharge, basically supercharge your Facebook ad conversions, meaning that they'll actually work for you. Now before we get too deep, I want you to know that when I'm talking about advertising on Facebook or on social media platforms, I'm talking about a very specific form of advertising that's actually called direct response. Most of us are familiar with something called branding, which is, you know, kind of feel good building a relationship. That's very expensive. It takes a long time. That's not something that our clients can can do right now. Direct response is the opposite. It's it always makes sure that you have an offer, a goal with your actual campaign that you're running, your advertising campaign, so the, and that you can measure it. Those two things are essential. Have a goal be able to measure it. So if your goal is to get people to come to you or to pick up the phone to call you, that's your goal. And how many people you got, that's your measurement, right? All right, so let's get into this. So the first thing, and if you stay here for a couple minutes, we're actually going to go through some real Facebook ads for you and, uh, and, and break down some really good ones that we like. So let's get into this. The first, the first element that's absolutely critical, and this element, and before I get too far, I gotta give credit to Russell Brunson. He actually talks about this, these same three elements for sales funnels, which is something we'll talk about another time. But this one, it, it, but I've seen it apply to all stages of sales process, particularly for ads. So the first one is called the hook. So what is the hook? Well, the hook is something that, that just if you're on your phone, you're cruising, and all of a sudden you go, wait, what? Right? Something that stops you. Just like when a fish is swimming, right? It's swimming and, and the hook is there. It has bait on it that makes it go and has it stop just for that second. Right? That's the job of the hook. Now, even though I'm talking about it first, I'm going to recommend that you actually create it last. And I'll show you why in a second. So a hook, what is it? It can be anything. It could be a headline in your ad, and we're going to show you some of these in a second. It could be your image, right? Could be the person delivering it. Could be the way that the ad is designed. Could be the colors. It could be a lot of different things, but you want to make sure that you think of your ads in terms of the hook, not just making it pretty, not just copying a competitor. Make sure it has a hook. This is essential. Without a hook, nothing can happen. We look at the hook as being the gatekeeper, the gatekeeper for your prospect's attention. If you don't have that gatekeeper there that's opening the gate, people are never going to get in. They're never going to see your offer. All right, so this is essential. Now, the second thing is called story. So what does this mean? Well, this takes the hook and kind of 
spreads it out a little bit and starts building up more curiosity. And it, the story is designed to have somebody take action. All right. So you have the hook and then you have the story in the middle there. And the story is just kind of like reeling the fish in. Right. So the, the hook catch the fish. But if you just let it catch the fish, eventually it'll get loose and swim away. Right. The hook is that thing that's pulling tension. Right. That's slowly pulling the, the fish up in out of your water and into your bucket. All right, so the story, and we're gonna show you some examples. This one's better to see it as an example, all right? And finally, the third is your offer, all right? Your call to action, your goal, what you want them to do and what's in it for them, all right? So this, these three things, hook, story, offer, are the essence of a great ad and ads that don't work are always and I do mean always so far that I've seen are always missing one of these usually a lot of times they're missing two now am I saying that all ads that have worked have all of these no there are some exceptions but you know why would you tie a, a, a leg behind you to run a race right make sure you have all three so let's break down let's break this down and go into some simple examples of this all right so the first one Let's look over here at the Moz blog. So the Moz blog, the hook is the Lazy Writer's Guide to 30-Minute Keyword Research. So this is actually targeting people that are writing blog, that are bloggers, right? That want to have their blogs rank up in Google's results. That's SEO, right? So they're saying, here's a shortcut, guys. So the, the, the actual hook is the Lazy Writer's Guide to 30-Minute Keywords Research. Now the story is, see Brittany Mueller's guide on how to conduct effective keyword research for your SEO in 30 minutes, right? So they're introducing a character and they're promising, right? That stories do a lot of promising and they usually build a little bit of emotion. So now you're a little bit more intrigued because there's a real person behind this and they actually show her picture here, don't they? All right, so that's the first one. And the offer is, you get the 30 minute guide, right? And that's right here with the learn more. So now let's look at the second one. This is from Kat Howell, who's a Facebook ad uh, expert. So this one says, the most important document in your agency, that's the hook, the most important document. If you're going through and you're an agency owner who this is targeted to, you're gonna see that and go, wait, what? Oh, what is the most important document? You're gonna start thinking in your head and it's gonna make you stop for just a second, right? Now, here's the story. Pricing your services can be one of the hardest part of your business, especially at the beginning. Not knowing exactly how long a project will take will quickly eat into your profits. So she's really building up the tension, a little bit of the pain, right? And you're gonna end up being overworked and get underpaid. Mm. So now she's really kind of building this up so that I want to, to actually see what this most important document is. And there's her little thing down there, the button that tells us that we can get this document, right? Or at least find out what it is. Those are the documents. So as you can see, it's just something very simple. Hook, story, offer. Next time you're writing any kind of ads, make sure that you're thinking about your advertising in these elements. Hook, story, offer. Does it have a hook? Is there something that's building curiosity? It's going to make people stop scrolling. Does it have a story? Right? Is there a story that's building tension, building emotion, making me more curious, driving me towards my end, the end result that you want me to take? And is there a very clear offer? Right? Is it clear and does it make sense? All right, so listen, if you enjoyed this, you're gonna love, we're actually doing a Facebook ad six week class. We're actually going and teaching it live over the next six weeks definitely message us. Just click the message button, message our page, see if it's right for you. All right. But in the meantime, my name's Kyle McMurray from Grown Out Marketing. Remember, hook, story, offer. We'll see you next time.